Hello everyone. Okay, so the social distance evaluation tool that we've been building for you guys, this is what's gonna really catapult you through this period and out the other side. So the reason we built it, it's been something that we've been building for a little while now. Obviously we wasn't planning on calling it a social distance evaluation tool, but it makes perfect sense right now and maybe in the future we change the name of it. Um, so lots of agents complain to us about their instant valuation tools. They can see the purpose of them from a lead generation perspective, but sometimes they do more harm than good because they generate this random price and people then just, you know, never get in contact with them and there's no real interaction. So with this tool, you can send people to a web page where they can complete a bit more information about their property, upload some photos, tell you all the things that they like, they like about the house, tell you all of the key selling points, tell you any alterations they've made, all the things that are important to them. And then that information will come through into your life cycle system. From the life cycle system, you'll be able to see all of your leads on one page, and then you can click to turn it into a full presentation where you get to add in the value that you'd put on that house. Uh, you can write in there some uh, text about you know, your thoughts on it in the overview section. You could maybe add in some comparables if you wanted to. So uh, it's a great tool from that perspective. You should be able to get lots of people to fill it out at the moment because people want to know, you know what their current situation is in terms of how much equity they've got in their house, what their options are, but obviously they can't have an estate agent around. The other thing that will happen because they've been pulled into your life cycle system is that they'll now automatically start to get nurtured by you. So they will start to receive your nurture journeys. They will start to see your content. Uh, you can target them in Facebook. You can make sure they get your monthly newsletters. They'll automatically get kept up to date of anything you sell or let near them. And you'll also get instant notifications through by email whenever that person is active, looking on your website or their presentation or any of your content. So whilst right now, you might not really get much direct business out of it, the purpose of it in this at this point in time is to just gather lots and lots and lots of data out there, get it out as many places as you possibly can. You can now do marketing without sounding stupid. You can create video saying, uh, to all of the people in a local area, if you want to know what your options are around your house, you want to get an idea of how much equity you've got in it, you want to get an idea of how much rent you might get for it or, or any investment properties that you've got, we, you can now go onto our web page and complete a social distance evaluation form and one of our local property experts will come back to you within 24 to 48 hours with a full report on their best uh, kind of guide price as to what your property is worth and, and we can have a conversation about what your options are. So you can do marketing now and you can gather in all of that data, put it all in your nurture system. When we get to the other side of this, you'll start getting notifications that these people are active before you even see the market starting to pick up again and you'll be way ahead of the game. You come out the other side like you're on a freaking rocket as opposed to some sort of tortoise. I'm going to do a quick screen recording now and just walk you through how it works um, so that it makes sense. I think that you need to either have an instant valuation tool or this tool. If for some reason you think that the instant valuation tool is better than call, stick with that. Um, but uh, we would look to have either or going on inside the lifecycle system. So if you're a lifecycle user and you like the sound of this, just let us know. We'll get your instant valuation tool switched over to to. To, to this one so that you can actually have a bit more interaction with people. Here's the screen recording. Okay, so once someone's on the form, they fill out their details, first name, last name, email address, uh, pretty basic information, put their telephone number in here, and search for their property by postcode. Uh, let's just choose one of these. Uh, they enter how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, how many receptions, whether it's evaluation for sales or lettings, uh, the type of property. So all of the basic information that people are used to entering when they're searching for a property on Rightmove. Year built roughly, I guess most people are probably not sure. 
rough size of the plot to give you some sort of an idea the condition of the property and then we've given them some boxes to enter in uh, some information that probably doesn't affect the valuation a great deal but at least allows the person to feel like you are taking into consideration things that are important to them so this box is what alterations have you made since you bought the property if any in here you would put things like uh, I have uh, extended the kitchen and uh, what attracted you to buy this property uh, I liked the south facing garden down underneath there's a tick box of what they think are the key selling points. This is going to become important further down the road um, because as time goes on and we recover from this current situation, you'll be able to filter down people that feel like uh, they have a property that has a great location, is close to the station and is in a quiet location. And then you'd be able to run marketing campaigns to people saying if you've got a property that you think is in a great location close to the station then we've got buyers waiting for you it also allows you to go back to them and uh, with your market appraisal report and say that you've taken some of these things into account and then underneath that anything specific that you think our experts should take into account that you feel enhances or reduces the value of the property that's not a mandatory box they can write something in there underneath that they can add in any photos or videos uh, to help with you making your uh, decision so I've uh, got a couple of photos here that I want to add uh, let's add these two in okay there are the photos uh, down underneath is the GDPR consent and then I send in my valuation and it says thank you for your time one of our local property experts will come back to you uh, with your property valuation in 24 to 48 hours at the other end, inside Lifecycle, if I go to Leads, you'll see I've got this tab, Social Distancing Valuation Tool. I click in there, and inside there, I'll be able to see uh, all of the leads that have come in from the Social Distancing Valuation Tool. So here's the latest one. Mark Burgess, Turtle Farm. There's the mobile number. It's a sales valuation, and their market appraisal has not been created yet. I've also got Vendor ticked. Previously, I'd done a lettings test. That's why I've also got landlord ticked over here. But for those that have just done sales, they just have the vendor box ticked. ticked. Um, up here, you can see that I've received uh, an email just saying, thanks for completing the forms. I'm going to come back to you. As the estate agent now, if I go into this uh, particular lead, I can see all of the information. I can also click to see the photos that they've sent us, have a look at those photos, um, and from there, I can decide to create their market appraisal. So I want to convert this now into a full presentation. I click the button, I choose the branch and which user, and I click convert to market appraisal. The system will now automatically take all of their information and uh, create the market appraisal for, for you. All you need to do is go in here and add in certain bits of information that uh, they're waiting for from you. So, for instance, the valuation info in here, we're going to put uh, 500,000. Uh, our fee quote is just there as a standard anyway. I can put that in if I want to. Um, usually, when you're creating market appraisals, that's probably about all you'd put in. But you might also decide, because you've got a bit more time on your hands, that you want to load in some comparable properties. If you want to do that, then you can click on this button, add comparable property, and enter in the, the details, add a photo, of, put a URL in, whatever it is that you want to do in order to add a comparable if you choose what, that you want to. What you might also want to do is, as standard, your market appraisals have got a marketing plan and some overview text that get pulled in automatically. You might decide for these that you actually decide to change the overview text to take into account what they've spoken to you about and you know that you've sold some properties up the road and you know you know the properties eat well and whatever else it is to make it a bit more personal you would probably put that in the overview text once you're happy with it uh, you turn on the presentation oh sorry i didn't save my um, 
valuation price. So let me just save that. Okay, so you turn on the market appraisal presentation. I can preview it here as normal. I get to see what my market appraisal for this person is going to actually look like. All the information's in there. And then if I'm happy with it, I can either choose to send the email and edit the message myself or just send the standard email that says, here's your market appraisal presentation. So uh, if I choose uh, edit and send for this one, it will just come up with a box that allows me to um, actually write in something a bit more personal in there. Um, or I could just, as I say, choose the quick send version and it will just automatically send it. Now that person is actually in your system as a market appraisal. Um, so if I just click quit send just to get just to get that done. Um, so now that that person is actually in your system as a market appraisal, I could see on the calendar if I wanted to when all of those uh, social distancing market appraisal appointments came in. So down here, and we've unticked it so it doesn't clog up your calendar. But if I wanted to, I could tick that box and see uh, these were social distancing valuations that were done. So that's the tool. Hope it makes sense to you all. If you're a lifecycle user, you can start using this immediately. Just get in contact. Let us know you want to switch from instant valuation over to this tool and we can get it all working for you.